we explain mitral valve prolapse, based on a true story. Meet Maddie. At a recent doctor's appointment, a pediatrician discovered that her daughter, Lacey, has a heart murmur. After being evaluated with an echocardiogram, Lacey was diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse. If the heart was cut in half, this is what mitral valve prolapse would look like, compared with a typical heart. Maddie is still unsure what this means, but Lacey's cardiologist, Dr. Goldstein, is happy to explain. To start, mitral valve prolapse, also known as MVP, no not that kind of MVP, is when both the flaps, or leaflets, on the mitral valve collapse backward into the left atrium. The most common cause is abnormally stretchy valve leaflets, although it can also be caused by other health problems, such as, connective tissue diseases. Some people with MVP might not experience any symptoms, while others may experience a racing or irregular heartbeat, dizziness or lightheadedness, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, fatigue and chest pain. Dr. Goldstein tells Maddie not to worry because, typically, MVP is a minor issue. But, Lacey should still get checked regularly because sometimes it can become very serious. For example, it can cause arrhythmias that could become life-threatening. Also, in certain cases, the prolapsed valve regurgitates, or lets blood leak backward, which, in large amounts, can form blood clots that potentially lead to stroke or heart attack. Depending on severity, Dr. Goldstein reveals that he may treat Lacey with medication, but if her symptoms get worse, the left ventricle of the heart becomes enlarged, or the heart function worsens, they may need to repair or replace her mitral valve. Dr. Goldstein assures Maddie that now the condition has been diagnosed, Lacey will be in good hands. They will closely monitor her and if the problem becomes severe they will appropriately treat her to ensure she is healthy, 